tonight some hope as flames burn and smoke billows in from every direction around us. From 2,000 to more than 20,000 acres overnight, we will take you live to the state's largest wildfire burning south of Red Lodge as local, state, and federal fire crews take on the flames from the ground and from the sky. A word just down from the fire lines that the Robertson Draw Fire was possibly human caused and authorities are now questioning a suspect. Now evacuation orders remain in place tonight, but a shift in wind and cooler temperatures ease some concern in the resort town of Red Lodge. For those farther south, the last 24 hours have transitioned from major concern at dusk to great fear as night fell, but daylight brought with it some peace for local neighbors. Well, Q2's Brandon Warren and Chief Photographer Paul Humphrey teamed up today to bring us the very latest. They are live tonight in downtown Red Lodge. Brandon, what can you tell us? Thank you, Janelle. What I can tell you is at this hour, people are safe and no structures have been reported as burned. Crews are working to douse the flames and set up a perimeter around the fire. But hopes haven't always been this high. As one neighbor tells us, today was a better day. It was the city police came to our door. We were outside and just handed us the paper and said, you know, this is what's going on. And that was that. The fire came over the west side of the mountain as it grew significantly. Yesterday morning at 6 a.m. it was estimated at 2,000 acres. This morning at 6 a.m. it's 21,000 acres as an estimate. Evacuation warnings are still in place as crews continue to battle the blaze. Today's main focus is our structure protection and building containment line around the fire. Shauna hopes the fire is extinguished soon as she recalls the range of emotions she has went through since last night. I was very emotional. Um, just because it's, you know, pretty sad to see it burn. Oh, I think we really kind of deep down knew our house would be okay, but just to see, you know, your woods burned down right there in front of you is kind of hard. Shauna says the residents who live in the area know the risks. I mean, we can't imagine living anywhere else but the, you know, base of the mountains and you know you just I guess take that chance and hope it doesn't happen. At this hour air crews are battling the blaze on Mount Maurice right behind me dousing with water and fire retardant but for now let's go back to Janelle at the desk. All right Q2's Brandon Warren live from Red Lodge tonight thank you very much. Well, for those of you living in the Red Lodge area, there will be a virtual and in-person public meeting tonight at 7 p.m. That will take place at the Red Lodge High School Gym. The meeting will also be live streamed on the Custer Gallatin National Forest Facebook page. Well, Montana's Governor Greg Gianforte announced today that the state has secured federal management assistance grants from FEMA to assist with costs related to the fighting of the Robertson Draw Fire. Now, the grant makes FEMA funding available to pay 75 percent of the state's eligible firefighting costs. Eligible costs include materials and supplies, mobilization and demobilization, and equipment use.